Hey everybody, Maria White here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get more views on your Instagram stories. Let's get right into it. I don't need to tell you that the more views you get, that means the more ideal clients are seeing your stuff, and the more potential ideal clients see your stuff, the more clients you actually end up getting. So it's really a good use of our time for us to just talk about what you can do to get more views on your Instagram stories. And the first way you can do that is by properly utilizing engagement. And there's gonna be a couple different ways you can do that. But really shortly put, simply put, the more you get people to engage with your content, with your stories, the more Instagram will send you viewers, will show your stories to other people. And so a big part of our strategy as we talk about specific ways is to keep in mind that the big overarching thing that we wanna do is we want to create engagement. We want our viewers to go from being passive onlookers to actually engaging with our content. And it can be a slight, subtle engagement. It doesn't have to be huge. They don't have to be saying, yes, I wanna work with you, sign me up. But just little indicators that they're watching and they're participating is what we're looking for. And so obviously, a really great way to do that would be utilizing Instagram polls. But I've noticed that most entrepreneurs, most content creators, most people that use Instagram, they don't use Instagram polls the right way. And so they get very little response on their Instagram polls. What I have found works the best is asking questions that everybody can answer. What I like to do is not so much yes or no, although you can, but more like this or that, because everybody has a preference and that's a poll that anybody can answer. When I create Instagram polls that gets everybody participating, not only do my views on that story itself go up, I get better views on that story, but my stories get more views in general, immediately following a really popular poll. And if you think about it from the Instagram platform's perspective, it makes sense. The more people that engage with your story, that's telling Instagram, oh, this is a really popular content creator. People wanna see her stuff. So they'll show it to more people because they want people to be on the platform. They want people to be enjoying the content. So don't just do polls, but make your polls something that everybody can participate in. That's tip number one. Second thing that you can do is use secret hashtags. Now, not many people know about this, but it's a really great way to get more views on your story. What I do is I find relevant hashtags that are you know, related to my industry that my people would be searching for, and I add it to my Instagram stories. And now some people may not want hashtags all over their Instagram stories, and I get it, I'm the same way. So what I do is I put my stories behind stickers, right? You all know the sticker feature on Instagram. I put my hashtags behind stickers. So it still gets the views, it still gets people seeing my stories, but they're not visible. They're super subtle. It looks like I have like a little, I don't know, kitten jumping up and down or whatever it might be. It makes sense for the story that I'm doing. Um, but this is a way for me to get more views without having to clutter up my Instagram story with more hashtags. You can also do the exact same thing for locations. So find a location that's sort of close to your area, but I like to go a little bigger. So back when I lived in Delaware, I would do, instead of doing Newark, Delaware, where I lived, I put in Philadelphia, PA, because that's a bigger metropolitan area close to where I live. And a lot of people were clicking on that and doing that. So locations work as well, but I have found better results personally from hashtags because you can get really targeted with your hashtags and make sure that the people, the extra people that are viewing your stories um, are actually related to who you are and what you do and what you offer. So that's tip number two. Third thing that you can do to get more views on your Instagram stories is to ask good questions. So a lot of you will know that create feature where it's like, you can ask me a question. What I found is a lot of people use those incorrectly or they use them in a way that doesn't necessarily foster engagement. People like to talk about themselves. And so instead of having people ask you questions about yourself, I've actually seen more success when I use those boxes, that question box, to ask people questions about themselves. Like, why did you start your business? Or what are your goals for 2021? Or describe yourself in one word. I have seen much greater engagement when I make it about them. And I think that's just a general principle of engagement is if you're struggling to get engagement anywhere, if you're struggling to get views anywhere, make sure that you're making it about other people, not about you. Um, it's an old quote from Dale Carnegie, but he says something like, I'm paraphrasing, but it's something like, you'll work so much harder trying to get people interested in you, be interested in them first. It's kind of like our mom would say, right? Like, be a, if you want a friend, be a friend. And so if you want engagement, if you want people to pay attention to you, if you want more views on your stories, give people an opportunity to talk about themselves. 
So use that question box. You'll get more views on your story and you also get to know more about your community, about your followers. I really enjoy that question box one. I love it when it's time in my content calendar to do that um, because it's a way for me to get to know my people more. I get to know a little bit more about them. They get to tell me more about themselves and it has the added bonus of getting more views and more engagement. Tip number four is to keep your story short. The ideal amount of stories, right? You know how you have those little like bars at the top? The ideal amount of stories is six per day, no more. And if you think about it logically, it makes sense. When you go to somebody, some content creator, and we see that they have just so many stories, we kind of get overwhelmed and we click through it really fast or we exit. Um, but if people only have a few, up to six of those little bars, we'll put it on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. Um, if they have six, the rumor is that people will actually go through it and they'll finish watching all your stories. And that's really good. That tells Instagram that this content creator, people consume all the stories they create. They're really popular. So the, the more simple way of thinking about this is don't have too many stories on your you know Instagram story. It's just too much. People get overwhelmed and they'll click away. And that's really bad for your like stats with the algorithm. With, with any marketing, with any tips like this, the key thing is take it and try it. You know, I know tons and tons of creators that have tons and tons of content. The next thing that you can do to get more engagement, to get more views is to tag people, to shout people out. Now, this is also a great tip for building relationships, increasing the amount of people you know, building out your network. Um, but it's also a really good thing to do um, from a getting more views standpoint, right? from an engagement standpoint, it's a fantastic way to increase the amount of people watching your story. And the reason why it works is, is a couple fold. Number one, you're utilizing a feature on Instagram. They always like that. Number two, people will typically reshare your story to their profile. Um, and it's a fantastic way to frequently, if you're shouting at people around the size of your audience, you can get double the amount of eyeballs on your story because they will reshare it to their profile. And then you'll have more people like tapping back and viewing your profile. So we like to do, for me, I, I like, tagging people and I do it mostly from a networking standpoint because I love shouting out people. I love utilizing my platform to just shout out other people. Um, but it does have the added benefit that I do end up getting more followers and I do end up getting more views on my stories. But I do it primarily because I want to connect with people. I want to shout out awesome people that, that I found or that I've profiled as I've binged. Um, but it's also a really good way to get more views on your story. All right, so the final thing that you can do to get more views on your stories is to take a break. And again, this is one of those things where it could work for you, it could not, but something that I've noticed is whenever I notice my story views going down a little bit and they're less than I normally would get, I take a break for 24 hours. I just let the whole algorithm reset and then I make a new piece of content that typically has like a poll or answer a question and my engagement always goes way up. And I think what's happening is I get into the cycle where I get into this rhythm, I get into this routine and it can get a little repetitive. It can get a little tedious if I don't pay attention. And so by resetting and giving the algorithm a break, I notice my stories go way up. So if you've been posting a lot and you've been consistent, first of all, good job. I like that. Give yourself a break, give yourself 24 hours and then come back right around the same time and ask a poll, right? Like ask a question, put up a poll, do something to make the first story that you put up after your 24 hour break, have it be something that people will likely engage with. Um, I like to keep the polls, you know, relevant. So for example, one of the ones I did was, um, is your Christmas tree up or down at the time of filming? It's like end of January. So a lot of people are going to say, yes, my tree is down. And some people are like, eh, you know, I need to get it down. Everybody for the most part is going to answer that question. So take a break. If you've noticed that your story views have gone down over the while over a bit, but you don't exactly know why take an intentional 24 hour break. I wouldn't go longer than 24 hours, just a 24 hour reset and then make your first story an Instagram poll. That's what I would recommend doing. And you should see your story views go way up. Hopefully you found these story hacks helpful. If you want to know more about how I both grow my Instagram following and I monetize my Instagram followers, I've created a really cool kit for you. It's called the ultimate make money on Instagram kit. It's just $7 and the results from it have been amazing. I had one student, she took it and she got, I think it was 11. We'll put a little screenshot up, but I think it was something like 11,000 followers in 30 days. It was crazy results and a lot of students do really well with it. So it works for everybody. If you want a copy, which I highly recommend you grab, it's just $7 and it's super worth it. I'm going to put a link at the top of the YouTube description so you can see it down below. Hopefully you found this helpful. We're going to be putting out a ton of videos to help you grow your business, grow your social media following. I'm here for the ride. I hope you are too. If you like this video, like it. If you want to subscribe and make sure you don't miss any of the cool videos we're going to be putting out, just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.
Thank you.